long time no see once again i guess i'm just going to stop apologizing for not posting often 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 <laughs> often enough and i don't know if i need to explain myself i mean everybody's probably already tired of my excuses and everything if it's any consolation to anyone i did intend to make more videos and post more often but then the whole situation with ukraine happened and i just ceased to do anything like i do want to get into it but also don't um because there's just so much going on. Uh, all I just wanted to say is that I acknowledge the situation and that it is more than horrifying. Uh, I'm doing what I can, sharing, spreading information and uh, donating and doing what I can, seriously. Um, because somehow it's touching me personally, that whole situation. I can't even imagine what the people of Ukraine are feeling and how they are like, ah, oh my God. <sighs> yeah, um, also if you want to help and if you want to do anything about it um, I'll leave some links down below where you can like either educate yourself about the situation or or uh, Donate or just find ways you can help Ukraine. So I'll leave the links uh, down in the description um, Yeah, I just wanted to put this in here. Uh, that's also yeah, one of the reasons I haven't been really posting but I'm trying to get back on track because life has to go on and um, all that. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so today's video is going to be a tattoo update um, and it's going to be a little bit different than the rest of my videos because um, I have like, had some like tattoo sessions done that I didn't document, but I'm gonna get into them like now because they weren't interesting. They're just like the little its and bits and today is sort of one of them. So today, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to get my hands touched up. Uh, so for the wedding, I want my tattoos to look nice and fresh and we have been touching up my tattoos and like several other little thingies have happened, which I'm gonna get into a little bit later, but that's what today's video is going to be about. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff has happened. That's all I can say, really. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I just hope all of you have been have been doing well with everything going on. Yeah, I'm genuinely concerned and worried. And yeah, there's just a lot going on in my mind right now. <laughs> like, I want to be excited for the upcoming wedding. But then again, I am horrified and terrified about the current situation in the world. You know... I don't know where to be. So if I am on and off in this video and I'm a mess, I could that that could explain it. I'm trying to be excited about life and continue living it, but then again, everything all the time dawns on me and I'm just like, everything's great and then like, oh shit. Like you you know? Anyway. Gosh, I haven't made a, vi a video in a while, so now I just don't know what to say, but I guess I could spare you the rambling for later and just get ready to get outside of the house. Oh God, my brain is a fart. That's all it is. Okay, I'm going to get ready and uh, take you with me. At least I'll try to take you with me uh, on this day. Yeah, so the background is a mess, don't take that, but I don't know, my outfit is nothing special, but it makes me feel nice. I also have my little tote bag, and since it's, uh, as I said, springy outside, like spring. <laughs> I would normally wear like all light, because I have pants in the same color as this coat, but since I'm going to a tattoo session, I'm not daring to wear like clothes except for this hoodie which I'm gonna be taking off anyway so yeah that's what's up so I'm ready to leave the house and I will see you when I get back peace <laughs> So, 
I just literally got home. I came in, I took my camera, I put it here, and then I undressed or whatever. Uh, so I, I went out, got my tattoo done, and it's now it's pretty hot outside. It's 18 plus degrees, which is the warmest we've had. I have all the crunchy tape under me, and I got both of my hands touched up. Well, the, t the top half of my hands I got touched up. And I'm gonna get into that in a second. I am just going to take this off because I can't stand it. It's, I feel it, it's, it's wet inside and it's just, it's giving me the uh, Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna take it off. Let's head and uh, take this off and wash my tattoo. Okay, the lighting in here sucks. It looks good when I look at the mirror. Hey. Because the lighting is coming straight onto my face, but that's not the point. Anyway, I'm really thirsty, so I bought myself some um, sparkling apple juice. And it's it's something random me and my fiance we found in our local shop and it's amazing. Oh my god. Good thing I'm by the sink. Hmm. 10 out of 10. If you hear vibrations or something weird, it's because I'm having work done in our yard. As per usual, this house is still under construction, even two years later, we're still living here. I'm just gonna take scissors and try to be very careful. And this is just, I think this is easier than trying to rip it apart. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know how much you can see in this bad lighting. My old tattoos got touched up. So this side is my oldest side. So here's my first tattoo. We didn't touch up this because this has been holding up pretty well. But like the, the top of my tattoo is like this. The inside is still fine, but like the top half is what needed touching up. So let's also do the other hand. Uh, so normally I would just jump in the shower. If I jump in the shower, then you wouldn't have, you wouldn't see this whole process, okay? So I am by the sink. I'm gonna turn on some lukewarm water and actually I'm gonna get paper towels. Ta-da! This video is not sponsored, but I'm gonna be uh, like washing off the gunk of the tattoo with this and it's a new product by stories and ink It's an aftercare foam cleanser. It's really good They sent it to me like a while back and I used it on my other touch tap tattoo that I'm gonna get into in a moment This is perfect for washing off all the gunk because it doesn't sting because I previously had like antibacterial soap that I would just wash my tattoos with but that wasn't that wasn't doing it for me. This is just so soothing. It's very nice yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. This is gonna be a mess. <laughs> I'm so used to doing this in the shower instead of like by the sink. Now I have the foam right here. Just gonna do one arm. The painful part about this side of the arm, my tattoo artist actually went into my armpit, like right here somewhere. He was like, oh, you have a little bit missing in there. Let me just tickle you with my tattoo machine. That was incredibly painful, incredibly painful. I had such a reality check because I remember that I was wondering what it would have been like without <laughs> numbing cream in the armpits. Jesus Christ, it was so bad. It was so, so, so painful. The pain just seared through my body. I'm just gonna rinse. This will be such an awkward video. I'm in such a weird mood, I can't tell you. It, it probably reads. It's been a while. I, I tried to calculate how old these tattoos were. Six or seven years. Which in tattoo years... Tattoo. I think I'm pronouncing tattoo. Tattoo wrong. Or just I'm thinking too much about it. I don't know. In tattoo years is not much. Seven years. But for me it's, it feels like a lot. <laughs> I feel like I started getting tattooed like two years ago. My tattoo artist also wanted to touch up my crane that I have right here, this guy, um, but he ran out of time, so we're gonna do that next time. Like the, I don't know if you can see like this crane, it's in a weird position where I can't, don't know how to show you the head and like this area needs a little bit touching up. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna let this dry. I'm not gonna be putting aftercare cream on now, I'm just gonna let it dry, let it form a scab, and if it gets like tight and itchy, which it won't, at least not the first day, then I'm gonna put the cream on, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Now I'm gonna go sit down and talk to you guys about all of the updates. Okay, this is much better lighting. I don't look like trash. Well, maybe a little, as I usually say that. <laughs> you can finally 
see uh, my tattoos in better lighting. I do have a few pimples here and there, which is just casual me. So ignore those, but you can see the places my tattoo has been touched up. And then this side, whoa, it looks so fresh. Oh my God. <laughs> now I realize actually how faded my tattoo looked before this. Well, it's a huge contrast because it's entirely fresh. I'm so sad I didn't do before and after photos. I remember I had that idea, but I completely forgot about it. This um, lets me segue into the the things that I wanted to talk about. The tattoo updates that I have had up until now that I haven't really accounted for. Like I didn't make any videos uh, and I just thought I'm gonna make a video like this. So the first tattoo uh, update that I can give to you guys that I actually got a new tattoo. It's tiny and maybe for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. I got a matching tattoo with my fiance's sister. She's an amazing human being. She's like my closest friend and um, my maid of honor, but I don't like to call her my maid of honor. I like to call her my bad bitch of honor because, well, she isn't the maid. No matter how cringe that might sound. Uh, but yeah, we got matching tattoos and uh, not for the reasons you might think. Well, maybe also that, but yeah. Uh, the tattoo shop that I uh, go to where Emil, my tattoo artist, works at, uh, they were raising, not raising, they were, having this flash event slash fundraiser where uh, they were giving out little flash tattoos for a certain uh, amount of money and all of the money raised was going to be donated to uh, human humanitarian aid for Ukraine. If I pronounced that right, I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, but yeah, they were raising money for Ukraine. That's the easiest way I can say it. Here's like a little video. Uh, if you want to watch the whole video, you can go to my either TikTok or my Instagram. It's in the reels, uh, but it's just like a cute little video of how we got matching tattoos. The theme behind the tattoos was peace. So there are all kinds of little um, bits and pieces you could choose from, but we saw one that just spoke to us and it's um, this little tattoo. It's on my on my ankle. I could try to show you, but I think I'm gonna be in a very awkward position if I try to actually show you the tattoo. But yeah, this is the tattoo. Uh, it's a little cloud hugging a sun. At first I thought it's like a bean hugging a cloud or beans hugging or something, but either way, it's very cute, very friendly. Oh so yeah, it, it symbolizes peace, but it also sort of ironically Ironically, I don't know if it's ironically, but it symbolizes our our relationship because I said that Ruth is the little sun and I'm the little cloud because she's like more or less all the time positive and like this uh, cute person and I'm just this little cloud like I'm a little bit pessimistic. So the next update is I got my neck and chest touched up. So again, for those of you who are following me on Instagram probably saw it. Um, but this was a roller coaster because I got my tattoo infected and I've never had a tattoo infected. Uh, so yeah, that happened and um, it wasn't fun. So I got pretty much all of my <laughs> neck and chest touched up. If you remember, I had like little bits falling out right here. We got that touched up and it felt like pretty much my tattoo artist just did the whole neck piece the second time. <laughs> Like it took way less. He just did like the biggest pieces of shading uh, Because you can't just like cover up this little spot and leave it because then the ink is gonna be like twice as dark Also when it heals so he had to like even it out um, But it looks darker and I think this area looks specifically darker as well because uh, It also has some fallout that I hadn't seen because my neck is constantly like curved I don't know like I have like skin curved in there, you know and if I stretch it out, it had like fallout. But yeah, now that's fixed and it looks uh, very fresh. But the area what got infected is in between my boobs uh, because we took the shading um, and like brought it down. And so the area between my boobs got infected and it was bad. So it wasn't the tattoo artist's fault at all. It was just me, purely me because Sometimes if you get a tattoo infected, it could be the artist's fault uh, because of unsanitary conditions. But since I go to a legit tattoo studio where everything is as sanitary as possible, it's not his fault. Uh, and also 100% know that it was my fault because I 
overjudged. I don't know if that's what you say. I overjudged the situation and I went running the next day. I think not the next day, but like the third day because I was so used to my tattoos just getting like, uh, not getting, but like healing fast. And, and I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be okay. And I just went running. And so because of the sweat, it funnels down right here. So I think the sweat is what caused the infection. I know what I did wrong. It's all on me. It's all on me. Just don't do what I did. <laughs> I was just too confident with myself and how my tattoos heal and what I can do the next or whatever day. Um, so yeah, I have to take a breather now. And also because this area uh, right in between the boobs is so mobile, I'd say, because like the boobs, they, they constantly somehow move either when I'm standing up or something. The movement isn't a lot, but because the place jiggles, it uh, didn't allow the area to heal as well as it did for the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna just throw up pictures of the healing stages uh, of my tattoo, but trigger warning, I don't know if you need it, but yeah, some just like gross pictures coming up, I don't know, just yeah, a trigger warning. <laughs> so at first it's formed like a very thick scab and then it, it, was, it became painful and then I started seeing like a red halo around the scab, like the skin was red and irritated and I felt pain and it was pretty bad. And then one day after a shower, half of the scab just on one side just slid off and it revealed a lot of just pus and infection. And from that point, it got worse. Then the scab sort of formed uh, and it looked like just a pure infection. Then the tattoo got even, uh, even more red. And I was in pain for like four days straight. I couldn't even sleep at night because it was so painful. Like every time I, I moved and every time my boobs moved, it was just searing pain. It was really bad. And I didn't know what else to do really. My tattoo artist just told me to keep on just trying to wash it daily with that little mousse thing that I have that I just showed you. Um, and that's all I did. Like he told me there's nothing much I can really do. Just like try and wait it out um, and not put any kind of cream and anything on it because the cream can just like help it get worse, which I did at first. So I, I'm guessing that's why it got worse. Also try to show you up close what it looks like. I hope I don't get demonetized or something. Um, yeah, it's right here. It's pretty ugly. You can see this line. And now it has formed into a pretty big um, scar. So it's like still red-ish. Um, and my tattoo artist told me that we can't touch it up or tattoo it until it's like white. But it's a pretty big one, right? It's a pretty big uh, scar. And then we also have some scarring on this side, but it's not as bad as it is on this side. You can see, I can try to come closer. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Uh, do not recommend infections to anyone. <laughs> that sounds weird. Uh, but yeah, that happened, which was a first for me, so full of adventures um, up until this point. So yeah, that happened. And then the next thing was, yeah, my uh, arms getting touched up. So these have been my tattoo updates. I don't know if that was interesting for you or not. Um, I don't think I'm gonna update you on this healing process because I think it's going to be a very long and boring video in that case because I've had my arms heal before and I think it's going to be just fine. And this time I'm not gonna go and have a heavy workout three days post a tattoo session. Now I know better. <laughs> Which is something everyone always tells you, but I felt so confident. Fucking, that's what you get, I guess. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like subscribe and I will see you very soon. I hope very soon in one of my next videos. Okay. Bye guys.